Thinking of taking a river cruise on Alma waterways or Avalon waterways and confused and don't know the difference? Hold on, let's talk about that. Hi, this is Jack with Luxury Cruise Tips. I've had the pleasure over the past couple months to cruise on both Alma and Avalon. And as I did, I was thinking, these are pretty similar cruise lines so let's talk about what the differences are. So the first thing is the ships are pretty well equal in size if you're on the same class of ship on the Rhine or the Danube. So that would be a, a equivalent to a Viking long ship approximately 440 feet long by 38 feet wide. It's restricted by the the locks and the river. So the ships are almost the same size. Now let's talk about breaking this down in different categories. So the first one I would say would be the cabins or staterooms. Now here's the thing. Each of them has three main categories. So the lower level category stateroom with the fixed window, they're pretty much the same. I would say if you look at AMA, those cabins are going to be slightly smaller, 150 to 160 square feet. If you look at Avalon, there's maybe 10 square feet larger, but other than that, the decor is relatively the same. I think where the cabins changed the most to me was that as you get on the top two decks of what you would call a balcony or a French balcony cabin. So let's first talk about the staterooms on Avalon. So on Avalon, there truly are no balcony cabins. So if you want to sit outside, you don't have that option. I think what Avalon has, which is really cool, is they have the panorama suites or the panoramic cabins. So these cabins, as you can see, have the bed facing outside. So when you're on AMA in that level, you do have a French balcony cabin where you take a slider and you open it. Again, you really aren't stepping outside. But you do have on AMA the twin balcony cabins. Now those cabins are larger. So I would say when you look at the AMA French balcony cabin versus the Avalon panorama cabin, I would give points to the Avalon cabin. It's also slightly larger. When you look at the true AMA twin balcony, which is an internal balcony and an external balcony that has two chairs and you can go sit on, now that cabin is larger. When I looked at the price of those, the price of that cabin is typically more on most sailings than your panorama suite on Avalon. So I would say other than that, the cabins are just very similar. The decor is similar. The bathrooms are similar. They're both very nice. But I would say if you truly want a balcony cabin and you want to be outside, then you have to go with AMA. I do like the panorama. I like that you can sit, sit in bed and look outside. Now let's look at dining. Um, so here's the thing. So let's look at AMA. So AMA for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, no buffets anymore. Now this is as of, let's say, October 2023, no buffets. Avalon, breakfast buffet, lunch buffet, there is you can order things, both meals, some menu items, but primarily buffets, they're very nice. Dinner on both are sit down for a course. When you look at AMA, AMA actually has the chef's table in the back. So it's a separate restaurant. You can dine there once during the cruise. It's the same menu the whole cruise. With Avalon, they don't have a chef's table. Now what they do have is they do have room service for breakfast. It's a limited room service menu, but it's available for everybody. Also, one of the things that I really like on Avalon is in the back of the ship, they have the club lounge. Now, the club lounge could be a game room, it could just be to sit, but they also have, I would call it, a soda water dispenser, a coffee machine, and some snacks. But it's a great place to hang out. AMA in the back again has the chef's table. AMA does have the coffee machine in one or two places. So I think that from the food, um, my experience in eating several times on both the ships is I would say the plating on AMA is nicer 
Um, the food on Avalon, don't get me wrong, was very good. I liked the buffets. Um, I thought it was great. Um, but I would say that the plating on Ama is a little bit more upscale. There are tablecloths on the table in the evening for Ama. Um, I think that Ama has a couple more gourmet choices. So I would say that the menu is a little bit more gourmet on Ama than it is. Again, food on Avalon is good. I would give points to Ama for um, the dining option. The other thing with Ama is both Avalon and Ama, it is beer and wine with lunch and dinner. Both actually have happy hour with an open bar for an hour or so in the evening, either right before the port lecture or port manager talk or during. So it's an open bar. They do have a, a menu specifically for that. The other thing I'll give AMA points on is AMA has tapas um, during the afternoon when the bar is open. Actually, it's pretty much all day, so I have a tapas menu. So if you want a snack, you can just order from the bartender or someone in the um, lounge, whereas Avalon does not really have that. So food, I'm going to give that again to AMA. Let's talk about tours and excursions. I think both AMA and Avalon excel at tours and excursions. In each port, they're going to have any place between two to five options for you to choose from. Um, and within those groups, if it's a larger cruise, they may have a fast walker as well as a slow walker. And these are all included. My experience, because I did take um, the same cruise on the Moselle um, this past year on both ships. A couple different ports were different but similar tours were offered. Now, I will say that on Avalon, we were on the Active and Discovery. I really liked that. I think that the demographic on board skewed a little bit younger, but we had kayaking, we had hiking, we had biking, we had e-bikes. So I would say that tours are very similar, but I would say that if you want a more active, I think Avalon really hits it out of the park on that one. AMA does have bikes as well, and they had some bike tours as well. So again, I would say both very, very similar. Um, if you can find a Active and Discovery, I would say that if you're looking for something Active and Discovery, then I think that the Avalon may be a better option for you on the tours and excursions. In terms of the guides on the excursions, they were very similar on both, very knowledgeable, helpful, uh, interesting, funny. So I think both AMA and Avalon had great sets of guides. Another item would be the staff. So I think the staff really shows differently. So when you're on AMA, to me the staff has been primarily European. I would say mostly Eastern European. They were just great. You know, servers were from Poland, Eastern Europe, Czechoslovakia, some that were um, from the UK, some from France. So it was a good mix of European staff. Um, in the dining rooms, um, in the your state rooms. And then on Avalon, it was actually an interesting mix because you did have some European, but you had a lot of, um, there were some staff from the Philippines, there was some staff from Indonesia. So it was good to get a different mix of people from all over the place, uh, but both staff were spectacular in terms of serving in the dining rooms, bartenders, um, the cabin stewards, and overall around the ship, just really the interaction with us as guests with both were great. So I'm going to say both. Can't say one's better than the other. They were both great. Overall with the ship, both had gyms. So they both had gyms with treadmills and some weights, which is very nice. Um, AMA has a pool with a swim-up pool bar. Um, it's heated. Uh, Avalon has a hot tub, a whirlpool jacuzzi up on the top deck. So that was a lot of fun also. They both have great top deck areas, very, very similar. You can walk around, they had shade, they had plenty of chairs. Um, one day on um, Avalon, they actually hosted a lunch upstairs. So they have a full kitchen area, but they hosted a lunch. That was a lot of fun. AMA did not do that. I've been on several AMA and I don't think we've ever had that happen. So I would say that's a lot of fun. Both had bikes on board. I would say that what I saw was quality of bikes, very similar. We took them out on both. It looked like Avalon had more bikes than AMA. And also with Avalon, they did have some e-bikes, which was a pretty neat thing. Um, so again, from that side, it's great. Um, other thing is both have fitness counselors, which was a lot of fun. So morning yoga, morning stretches, 
both Avalon and Emma on our cruises had both. So I can't say one's better than the other on that. So again, in terms of the overall ship, the layout, the amenities, both very, very similar. So if you kind of get my drift, they're both very similar. I would say as you're looking at both, you want to look at prices. Um, and again, I think what may sway you is if you want that balcony, then it's going to be AMA. If you want active and discovery, then it may have to be Avalon. But I don't think you can make a wrong decision. Had a great trip on both of them. So again, those are the major differences I've seen or the similarities with Avalon and with AMA Waterways. Hopefully this information is helpful. Feel free to subscribe to my videos and I do post a couple videos every week on luxury cruising.